Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Peep game. A few days ago, maybe almost a week ago, I did a video in regards to Lamar Jackson. I was just basically giving a, a honest and open assessment of him on basically some things he can do to improve his overall game and become a, a better overall quarterback. And that's all I was doing. I wasn't attacking the brother. I didn't say he sucked. I didn't say he was no good. I was just saying some things that he could do that would make him a more complete quarterback. And, of course, you had some overzealous, you know what I'm saying, extremely, extremely Lamar Jackson fanboys that just got irate and started trying to, uh, like, personally attack me. Now, I didn't block all those bitches because at the end of the day, you don't have to like insult people. You don't have to like do all that type of shit. You can just say you disagree. But you don't have to say, oh man, you don't know what the fuck you talking about. Or did you even, watch? yeah, I watched the damn game. I watched the long version of the game, the original game. I watched the edited one hour game where they edit all the, you know what I'm saying? The commercials and all that in the timeouts. So, I've seen the game. And I gave an honest assessment. And, you know, I'm going to just be honest with you. At the end of the day, man, y'all better watch y'all fucking mouths when y'all come on my channel, man. Like I said, you don't have to agree with me, but you don't have to, like, like try to disrespect me and shit and say, oh, you don't know the game. I know I do know the game of football. I do. I do know the game of football. All I said was, Lamar Jackson needs to do a better job of reading the defense. And he needs to learn how to audible sometimes, call the different play within the huddle. Like Peyton Manning. Oh, well, um, Peyton Manning had Marshall Falk his whole could No, the fuck he didn't have Marshall Falk, you stupid motherfucker. He only played with Marshall Falk if I'm not mistaken, only one season. And then when he won his Super Bowl, he had another running back. Edron James had left and went to the Cardinals the year they won the Super Bowl. Now, nevertheless, Peyton Manning could read defense pretty good. Now, he would have games where he would play terrible just like any quarterback would. But one thing he could do, he could read defenses pretty good and he could audible. Because sometimes when the defensive line would stack the box to where they couldn't get their run game going, Peyton Manning would have to throw the ball. I mean, he did throw for like, what, 70,000 yards? So he had to throw the ball a few times. Didn't he throw for like 70,000 yards? Something like that, right? 60, 70,000 yards? So how, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Like I said, he only played with Marshall Falk, if I'm not mistaken, one year. And then Marshall Falk went to play for the Rams. And then they drafted Edron James. Like, so I know football. Like I said, I wasn't attack, uh, uh, attacking Lamar Jackson. I, I want Lamar Jackson to win. I'm just saying that he need to become more of a pocket passer and rely strictly on slinging the ball down the field. Now, I know some of y'all are going to say, well, he threw for over 300 yards in that game. How many touchdowns did he throw? One. How many interceptions did he throw? Two. Case closed. Do you guys know what picking a defense apart is? It doesn't mean you throwing for a whole bunch of yards. You could throw for 250 yards and you throw four touchdowns. That means you pick the defense apart. Because if you, it's, keep in mind, you have three tries to get 10 yards. So if you throw and, and you have four quarters 
to score the most points. So if you can, so let's just say you you throw, you know, three twenty yard bombs in the first quarter, within the first, you you know what I'm saying? That's eight, you know what I'm saying? That's sixty yards. Let's say in the sec, second half you throw three more. Like you throw one thirty yard pass, then you throw one forty yard pass. That's not, so. I mean, you could get three hundred yards. Let's just say you throw 150 yard, but, but if you don't score no touchdowns, it don't mean nothing. If you don't punch it in, what was the score Baltimore lost? 28 to 12? So, how did he carve up that defense? All I was saying is the style of football he plays. That's only going to last like three, four seasons before they figure you out. And like I said, that was Michael Vick's biggest problem. Michael Vick didn't know how to read defenses. This is why, to a certain degree, they treat black quarterbacks the way they do because they think black quarterbacks are not smart enough to play that position. Look what they did to Warren Moon. They wanted Warren Moon to be like a. They tried. I think they tried to make Warren Moon like a, a cornerback or something when he came. They asked him to play like cornerback or safety or something. He had to go play in Canada for a few years. He didn't get to the NFL. I think he was like 28, and he still managed to throw for 47,000 yards. So, to be honest with you. Let's just say Warren Moon had those years in the NFL that he had. In the, Warren Moon might have retired at that time the all-time passing leader. So I'm just saying, man. Warren Moon would, fl would, 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 would fling the ball. He wasn't a, a, a scram. He wasn't a scrambling quarterback. He scrambled a little bit. Now Randall Cunningham was a was a running quarterback. And that's all I was trying to say about Lamar Jackson before some of you clowns like started to like attack me and shit. For real, don't bring that shit to my channel. We all adults here. If you disagree, you di you you disagree. One one stupid motherfucker talk about man, I couldn't even listen to the whole video before. I then don't watch the motherfucking video. For real. Then don't say nothing. Then obviously. How you gonna make make a, a fair assessment of my video and you didn't watch the whole fucking video, you stupid motherfucker? Like for real, man. Y'all gotta get out of here with that stupid shit, man. Y'all y'all be taking shit like to the extreme, man. It ain't no. I mean, for real. It's okay to be a fan, but don't be a fan boy. Lamar Jackson has flaws, and it was proven in that playoff game. I didn't say the man couldn't improve. At the end of the day, man, real talk, black people, we got to stop babying these dudes, man. That's the problem, man. We can't, We got to stop uh, cuddling these dudes, man. We got to say, hey, Lamar, you made some bad decisions, which you did. You didn't, It wasn't entirely your fault that, that you lost. But at the end of the day, if you would have won, you would have got all the credit. That comes with the territory. Yeah, your receivers missed some um, catchable balls, but then you overthrew the ball at times. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm just, that's the only point that I was trying to make. Y'all got to stop with this shit to where y'all just get so over the top of shit to where you try to assassinate and attack somebody's character and stuff. Because like I said, the dude said, I couldn't even listen to the whole video then. You can't sit up there and make a fair assessment of my video then. And, they, and I blocked his ass. So like I said before, it's simple on my channel. If you disagree, just say why you disagree. But you ain't got to insult me. You ain't got to start talking shit. Because like I said, at the end of the day, you don't know me. I'm not your, for real. I'm 
not your drinking buddy. And I didn't go to college with you. So don't talk to me like, you know what I'm saying, for real, man. That's a, that's that's all I'm asking, man. Can we keep this shit respectful? Because I'll be respectful as long as you respectful to me. So like I said before, nobody wants Lamar Jackson to succeed more than me. I want him to, ho to, to hoist that uh, Vince Lombardi trophy. Like I said, that was his first playoff game. That's all I'm saying about the brother, man. I'm just saying that he need to get in that film room, look at the defense, get a better understanding of how to read the defenses and what the defenses is doing. And that's all I was saying. And just become a, a, a more complete pocket passer. That's all I was saying. It was a good critique. It wasn't, man, Lamar Jackson sucks. Man, he's terrible. Y'all didn't even listen to the video. How, like, if y'all would have listened to the video, you would have understood what I was saying. But instead, you wanted to get, you know what I'm saying? You wanted to try to, like, get all over emotional and shit. So, that's all I was saying about Lamar Jackson, man. And I don't retract nothing. I mean every word I say. He need to improve on some things. That's it. That's all. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.